What were the designers of this slide even thinking? In the 1950s and 60s, growing up as a child was a matter of life and death. Here are the top 15 most dangerous playgrounds in the world. Number 15, Cheese Grater Slide. We all remember from our childhoods, or perhaps even more recently, the joy of going down a slide. But it seemed as often as it would be a pleasurable experience, it could also be something painful. If you're wearing shorts, the skin of your leg could get stuck on the metal and cause friction burns. Or if you went down too fast, you'd find yourself hitting the ground with quite a thump. Not content with normal pitfalls of sliding, some designers have come up with variations that seem way too dangerous to be true. Known as cheese grater slides, there are several different types around the world, but they all involve a series of holes within the slide itself, some of which look incredibly sharp. Of course, this is mostly an optical illusion designed to add an extra thrill to the slide. It is a perfect photo opportunity for parents. And the reality is there's nothing sharp about them. And in many cases, there aren't even any actual holes. Of course, there is a risk with slides like this that'll make children think the cheese graters are much safer than they are, and that they'll be more likely to play with them at home too. But that's a problem for another day. Number 14, the swing at the end of the world. If you're ever lucky enough to visit the thick jungles of Ecuador, then you might well get the opportunity to journey to Casa del Arbol, one of the most remote seismic monitoring stations in the world. At an elevation of more than 8,500 feet above sea level, it's built within a tree on a cliff edge that looks out across a valley, and is the ideal place to observe Mount Tungawaha, a nearby active volcano. Of course, there's normally very little to see of the volcano, and if it was showing signs of activity, you'd certainly not want to be this close. So to pass the time and encourage tourists to visit, the owners of a monitoring station have also installed a swing on one of those branches of the tree. Known as the swing at the end of the world, those who are brave enough can swing out over the plunging valley, with no more than two ropes of the swing and a feeble rope strap across your lap to keep you from falling thousands of feet to the valley floor. It's such a precarious swing that it's amazing that tours regularly take people there to have a go, and even more astonishing that, so far, no one has been injured. Number 13, the Estepona Slide. The Spanish town of Estepona, which is on the Costa del Sol, is an ancient place that was built on the cliffs overlooking the sea. It has roads that twist and turn in tandem with the natural geography. The result is a complicated network of streets that probably haunt the nightmares of town planners that see them. But they're also just as frustrating for the local residents who often have to walk for 10 or 20 minutes just to reach somewhere that's a few feet away, but isn't connected by a pathway. In 2018, town officials had the ingenious idea of how to solve the problem, and by early 2019, it was ready to open to the public. They constructed a 120-foot-long slide that connected one of the higher streets with a square that's lower down the cliff face and would give people a way to avoid the normal 10-minute walk and do it in seconds. As well as saving time, it's possibly the most fun means of public transport you'll find anywhere in the world. But things didn't exactly go to plan. No one spent any time investigating the safety aspects of the slide, and with a gradient of between 32 and 34 degrees, people slid down much faster than it had been expected. There wasn't enough length to slow down at the end, so people began flying off onto the concrete and suffered serious injuries. At a cost of more than $35,000, the slide was forced to close within hours of its grand opening, so it could undergo a complete redesign. Number 12, Dotty Park. Dottie Park began life in the 1950s as a playground for the children of pilgrims who were visiting the nearby basilica, but as its popularity grew, it became the first private amusement park in Belgium. With humble beginnings to start with, it had schoolyard equipment for the kids to play on while their parents ventured into the holy site. But by 1980, the place had been transformed and had elaborate rides that were certain to entertain the large number of visitors that made the pilgrimage there. It had the longest monkey bar in Europe, and at its peak welcomed a million visitors per year. The problem was, while the owners were quite happy to turn a profit from the park, they didn't want to invest any back into maintenance or improvements, and the rides soon began falling into a state of disrepair. And there were serious safety concerns. It was only in 2000 when a young boy lost his arm while riding on the Nautic Jet Water Rapids that authorities stepped in, and the once quaint little playground was forced to shut for renovations. These upgrades never transpired, however, and it was completely abandoned. Now nature had begun to take over, and most of the buildings have been demolished, with plans to turn it into a hiking park. Number 11, Brutas Park. 
You may not think of Lithuania as a number one destination in the world to go to if you want to visit an amazing playground, and if the Grutas Park is anything to go by, you'd be totally right. Located around 81 miles to the southwest of the country's capital city, Vilnius, it's a sculpture garden that was opened in 2001 that has several children's playgrounds on site. Now, there are two reasons why these playgrounds are seen as dangerous. The first is that they haven't been built with any safety protocols, and very little effort is put towards their upkeep. So there are a number of stories of children injuring themselves while playing there, but that's probably not the worst thing about the park. The other danger is how visiting the place might affect their minds, because Grutas Park is an ode to Lithuania's communist past, with statues of Stalin, Lenin, and countless other communist figureheads that were salvaged from around the country following the fall of the Soviet Union. Sure, it's meant to be a reminder of the dark days of totalitarianism, but kids won't understand that and will instead see these leaders being immortalized in stone, and will surely be traumatized by going on the park's idea of a ride, a gulag train that recreates the feeling of being a prisoner sent to Siberia in a cattle car in the midst of winter. Number 10. The Giant Canyon Swing If you go to amusement parks around the world, you'll quite often see a pendulum swing where riders are strapped into their seats and swung back and forth. It is a thrilling enough ride in normal situations, but at the Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park, they've installed one on the side of a cliff, which means it swings out across a 1,300-foot drop down to the Colorado River. Once the ride has reached full speed, it swings at up to 50 miles an hour and reaches near vertical before returning back towards the ground. Ominously, anyone who sets foot on the ride has to sign a waiver before it begins, just in case something goes wrong, and it would only take a small malfunction to end in disaster. In fact, the current swing was installed in 2010 to replace an older version that had serious safety concerns, and while no one yet has plummeted to their death from it, this ride certainly offers a level of danger you'll rarely see anywhere else, and you have to question why it's necessary at all. Number 9. Tver's Communal Playground Tver is a city in Russia that's about 110 miles to the northwest of Moscow. With a population of around 415,000 people, it's a hive of economic activity in the area and has its roots in medieval times when it was the capital city of the region. Despite being home to a highly rated university, a medical academy, and an air and space defense academy, funding doesn't exactly reach every part of the city. And due to a serious lack of investment, some of the children there have no choice but to play in what is often said to be the most dangerous playground in the world. It has a number of strange-looking structures, none of which you'd see at a playground anywhere else, and all of which have been made from scrap metal that locals found lying in the streets. There's nothing to keep children secured safely in the contraptions as they spin around, and most of them look like medieval torture devices. One appears to be a large wheel of fortune, which requires you to hold on tight as you're spun upside down, and even adults struggle to keep hold of the bars as the G-forces kick in. Elsewhere, there's a tire suspended from a spring, which seems to have very little purpose other than to be a place to hide from the secret police. And there's a peculiar seat which, once sat down, a cage lowers over you, and it too spins upside down. If this was anywhere else in the world, it surely would have been banned, but in Russia, it's simply seen as an exercise in character building. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Subterranean Playground While children in communities around the world have different cultural backgrounds and will have wildly differing opinions on virtually everything, there's one thing that they all have in common, their love of play. Luckily for most of us, there's little that gets in our way of being able to do so, as long as we're able to get to a local park or playground. But in some countries, this isn't as easy as it should be. Syria, for example, is a place that's been ravaged by war over the past few years. And civilians have been accustomed to the constant sounds of jets flying overhead, and bombs being detonated all around them. The outdoor playgrounds have become far too dangerous to risk letting children play in, and have long been deserted. But an example of how powerful the work of charitable organizations can be in places like this, there's an alternative. This is one of a number of subterranean playgrounds that have been built in Damascus, where former cellars and storage facilities have been fitted with toys, slides, and swings like you would normally see outdoors. As you can see from the footage, places like these have become extremely popular as some of the safest places that kids can go, and they give them a chance to socialize and play without the fear of bombs falling from above. 
Because of continuing hostilities, this still is one of the most dangerous playgrounds in the world, but it's sure better than playing outside. Number 7. Lack of Shade There are certain pieces of equipment you'd expect to see on a children's playground. A slide, a swing, apparatus to climb on, and a roundabout. But even if these are built to rigorous safety standards, they can still pose a serious threat to people who use them because of their surrounding environment. Usually, playground equipment is made from metal, and it can heat up to extreme temperatures during hot weather if there's no natural shade in the area. And this can be particularly dangerous due to the delicate skin of children. There have been a number of instances recently in the U.S. where local authorities have had to warn families about the dangers of using playgrounds. But the most serious case took place in Australia, at the Hercules Street Park in Brisbane which has recently undergone a $10 million refurbishment. It was reopened in the midst of summer in January 2020, and almost immediately there were reports from parents that something had gone terribly wrong in the design of the place. Several hours after letting people in, a young boy had burnt his leg on a metal slide, and there were others had also singed themselves on walkways and handles. The park's owners were forced to shut the areas that were causing the most problems, and they now intend to cover all pieces of exposed metal with a special coating which should hopefully make it less of a death trap. Number 6. Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster, Tennessee Alpine coasters were first developed decades ago with the idea that you could install an exhilarating ride on an otherwise useless piece of land with a gradient, often on the side of a mountain. And you could let gravity do the work by propelling riders along the track instead of needing expensive machinery to do so. As an added element of fun, each cart has its own handbrake, so the riders can control the speed of their own descent. But despite this, they have become renowned for their danger, and countless people injure themselves worldwide each year on rides like this. The risk hasn't stopped venues from opening their own, however, because they're so much cheaper to build and operate than roller coasters. Currently, the longest one in the United States can be found at Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and was opened in 2013. Riders are pulled to the top of the mountain by a cable, which is similar to a ski lift and then are let loose on the track. In theory, they can reach speeds of up to 27 miles per hour, and it takes 7 or 8 minutes to reach the bottom. But it's the way people control their own cars that increases the danger level. The Smoky Mountain Coaster has been forced to close a number of times since opening because of accidents. These have involved relatively minor ones like people falling from the cars and grazing themselves, to more serious ones such as a case where a rider's arm was broken after they lost control reached out to try to slow themselves down, and a woman who suffered a back injury when the car behind her slammed into her. Quite why, in an age when measures can be easily implemented to ensure rides are safe, coasters like this still exist isn't clear, but they should either be closed down or at least come with a serious health warning. Number 5. Action Park Action Park in New Jersey has become the most renowned amusement and water park in the world, not because of incredible rides or attractions, but because of its atrocious safety record. Opened in 1978, it boasted a number of experiences you couldn't find anywhere else. There was good reason for this, because they had been completely reckless in the design. During the first 12 years of operation, six people are known to have died on site, and countless more suffered broken bones, fractured skulls, and other life-changing injuries. The majority of deaths occurred in the tidal wave pool, which during hot summers would become crammed full of people and gave those who got into difficulty very little chance of escape before the next three-foot-tall wave came pounding over you. The park operators had failed to understand that people are less buoyant in chlorinated water than in salt water and hadn't been prepared for the difficulties that would be faced. It soon became known as the Grave Pool and required 12 lifeguards to be on duty at all times, who would often be required to perform as many as 30 rescues in a shift which is far more incidents than a normal lifeguard would be expected to respond to. Other rides include a full loop-to-loop -loop water slide that had to be closed within days of opening, super speed water slides, go-karts, battle tanks, and bumper boats. It's no surprise that it was the place that every kid in the region wanted to go, but thankfully it was closed in 1996 and its reign of pain was brought to an end. Number 4. Akpoland once by far the most popular amusement park in Asia, Okpoland in South Korea had a dark secret that authorities tried their best to cover up, but it finally caught up with them and the place was forced to close in 1999. People traveled from far and wide during the 90s to visit the futuristic place, which had become renowned for its electric cars, the roller coasters, and its weird but enthralling duck train. But problems began in the early part of the decade when, due to poor maintenance, an accident resulted in one of the duck train cars falling to the ground, 
kill at least one person. The accident was covered up, though. There was no investigation and no apology, and the ride was simply fixed and operations resumed. In 1999, a strangely similar incident happened, again on the duck train. One of the cars derailed, a young girl was killed, and several others were injured. But this time, it was too serious to forget about. And after the mysterious disappearance of the park's owner, it was shut down forevermore. Since then, it's been claimed that there were a number of other deaths and injuries that happened on site and have been kept quiet, which, if true, would make Okpo Land the most deadly amusement park to have ever been in operation. It shows how important safety measures are at venues like it, and it's a good thing that this one, in particular, was closed. Number 3. Deadliest Slide in the World If you were planning on installing a children's slide, there would surely be a few things you'd take into account before finally deciding on exactly where it should be placed. You want to make sure that it's easily accessible, and that when they reach the end of the slide, they'll drop onto a soft and safe surface. But all of these concerns went out the window when this slide was built in China. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you, it is indeed on the top of a three-story building and the slide of the playground leads straight over the edge to a 40-foot drop. The only saving grace about this playground is that there actually isn't any way for children to reach it, because it's sat on the rooftop of a factory. The company that owns the building makes playgrounds like this, and it put it there as an advert for its business. The local residents became particularly concerned just in case a group of teenagers decided to climb up there for a dare and suffer serious injuries. Number 2. Playground, New York City there's increasing concern that children these days are being pampered too much. Rarely are they allowed to play without a teacher or parent watching their every move. And each time they start doing something their mom or dad doesn't like, they'll be told to move on and do something else. The question is, does this help them learn skills they need to take care of themselves when they're older? Some organizations believe it's becoming a real problem, and this has led to the design of intentionally dangerous playground that allow children to explore, build, and break things and where parents are expressly banned from entering. Instead, workers oversee what's happening to ensure the kids don't do anything that'll cause serious harm, but otherwise they're allowed to do whatever they want. It is a concept that's becoming increasingly popular around the world, including at the playground in New York City. This 50,000 square foot adventure playground looks more like a junkyard than somewhere for children, and they're encouraged to explore. To bring home the reality of how dangerous this can be, parents have to sign waiver forms before their kids can enter to absolve the owners just in case something happens. Number 1. Xinjingshan Amusement Park Disney is undoubtedly the most famous amusement park brand in the world, and from a young age, kids from all countries yearn for the chance to visit one of them for themselves. From the magical castles that welcome you as you enter to meeting all of your favorite characters and exhilarating rides, there's something for everyone. But it's not just Disney that provides this, and in Beijing, China, you can instead go to the Xinjingshan Amusement Park. It's almost a comical example of how little regard Chinese authorities have to the idea of copyright. It's almost a carbon copy of the Magical Kingdom. They have a Sleeping Beauty's castle, employees dress as Mickey and Donald, and they haven't stopped at Disney's IP. There's also Jurassic Park and a Spider-Man ride. At first, this may seem funny and be worth a visit, but the ride designs are also knocked off and are well known for their poor safety standards. So much effort has gone into recreating recognizable sites that little went into ensuring guests could experience them without suffering from injuries. It means that Xinjingshan is believed to be one of the most dangerous amusement parks in the world. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.